Hi, I'm Severi from Honet Plugins and today we are here to show you our latest plugin, the Hatefish Regenerator. The Regenerator is a, an, a MIDI step sequencer that is based around the concept of uh, Euclidean rhythms. Uh, it's uh, an interesting algorithm that is designed to uh, fill a certain number of steps with uh, uh, a certain number of beats, uh, spreading them uh, as more evenly as possible. So uh, you always get uh, uh, some interesting uh, uh, rhythms out of the algorithm. And uh, it's designed to uh, be able to create almost every uh, kind of rhythm rhythmic patterns that we have uh, in Western music. Uh, so with this uh, plugin, you can drive uh, any synth or soft synth uh, to create some rhythmic patterns and uh, uh, always be interesting. The plugin provides up to 16 different sequencer that you can uh, route to up to 16 different MIDI channels of codes. And uh, it, each of the sequencer uh, may work in five different modes. Uh, the note, arpeggiator up, arpeggiator down, chord, and controller. Uh, in the first four modes, you are working with uh, MIDI notes. Uh, the last mode, the control one, works with MIDI control change. Uh, with the last mode, you can uh, use uh, the, the pattern provided by the arpeggiator to uh, control parameters of your synth, making your rhythms uh, even more interesting. Uh, but uh, I won't talk anymore and I show you how the plugin works, uh, digging into the guy. Here on the left, we have uh, the sequencer selection controls. Uh, you have up to 16 different sequencer that you select clicking on the tab number. Then you have an uh, on-off button for each of the sequencers. Uh, you have the number of steps, the number of beats, and uh, the channel, the MIDI channel, the mode that uh, you can uh, choose uh, between uh, a note arpeggiator, up arpeggiator, down chords, and controller. And depending on the mode you have chosen, uh, the different parameter changes or are become unavailable. When the note is selected, uh, you can choose, of course, the note number, the velocity, and the length of the note that is being played. When you select arpeggiator up, you don't have any uh, kind of parameter to change because uh, um, the plugin will arpeggiate the MIDI notes it has on its input. Same for arpeggiator down. Uh, and for chord mode. With the, uh, the control change mode, you can change, of course, the number of the control change, the value, and the length, like you can with a single note. For each sequencer, we also added an LFO. With this uh, LFO, you can uh, modulate of a for a certain amount, expressed in percentage here, uh, the message sent by the sequencer. So if you, for example, choose the note mode uh, with this LFO set to 100%, we will change, we will be able to modulate the velocity of each of the step, of each steps, uh, from zero to the value set here. So if I say one, 127 here from the zero to the maximum value. And uh, clicking on Every box here lets you edit uh, the number, but you can also drag it up and down, so you have different way of changing the parameters, and uh, you can turn off and on each of the sequencer, and uh, changing the number of steps changes the graphical representation that show you uh, which step are going to play and which are not uh, using a, a dark blue or a light blue uh, color. So uh, let's hear how the plugin works. I have put it uh, on uh, an audio track here in Ableton Live, and then I have chosen uh, the, in another MIDI track, the MIDI from this track where my plugin is on. Then um, I send the, this MIDI to uh, a soft sync. Here is an electronic piano. 
and uh, I'll, uh, the, the output of the piano goes to the speakers. So it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I set um, the first sequencer to arpeggiator up, so I will show you uh, both the note mode here in the number two and the arpeggiator mode in the number one. So if I don't play any note, but I just press play on my transport, I get the, the second sequence playing. You see, it's 16 steps and 8 bits, so the algorithm divided in uh, uh, one playing, one not playing, uh, all the pattern. So you get um, a simple, very simple pattern. On the first sequencer, I made something more complicated. So I say, for instance, I have 24 steps and uh, 10 beats, so it's uh, a more strange uh, sequence. And uh, I'm going to play uh, C major on the, on the keyboard, so um, it will arpeggiate my three notes using this division here. change the LFO amount we will uh, you will hear that uh, uh, the velocity of the notes will change let's uh, use two different numbers so we get more movement <laughs> have seen from this short video the possibilities are almost endless you got 16 different sequencers so you can combine them um, and uh, drive many scenes uh, with, a, with a single instance and uh, create really uh, interesting patterns that you can of course also also record in your uh, DAW and uh, uh, edit later or use as a pattern for other sounds and uh, rhythmic uh, productions. So, uh, this plugin is available right now on www.honorplugins.com. You can go there and download it, and uh, if you like it, uh, uh, let us know. Thank you very much for watching the video.